Oi! Where do you think you're going? You little muscle bound meathead. I'm off to gym, I told you I was going. Being Ned. Yeah, I thought you said we was going out. I thought we was going to go to Norland and have something to eat. I can't believe you're going to gym. Jesus Christ, you never normally go on a Sunday. Are you really going? Yeah, I really am going. Do you want to know the reason what annoys me? Annoys the shit out of me. Is that when I first met you, when I first met you, I used to go to the gym all the time. And I looked real good, I was always in shape. And then, as soon as I met you, you start cooking forward, cooking forward. Every time I was going to the gym, you're just going, what are you going to the gym for? What are you going to the gym for? So I stopped going, and then three, four months down the line, you start calling me fat. So I can't win. So I'm not being funny. Get this into your big, thick skull, as well as everybody else. You liked me when I looked good, and now you're going off me because I don't look good. So use a psychological like, thing in your mind. I need to go to gym. If not, you won't keep interested, idiot. When I met you, you didn't go to gym, you didn't do nothing, and believe it or not, you're still the exact same, so I still like you, unfortunately. So just calm your little piping nose down and just chill out. It's my hobby. I don't have any other hobbies. I go to gym because I get to socialise, see my mates who've got a family. What more do you want? Jesus Christ, if you want, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll stop going to gym, I'll become a fat slug. In fact, I'll even quit my job and I'll see how much Jeremy Carl. Like you do when you're off. And don't say, it's maternity leave. You've been off maternity leave for about three months, beanhead. No. I don't like you the way you are. And yeah, I did like you when, like, I still like you, but... You're always at the gym. You're always there. After work, you go to gym. On weekends, you go to gym. You're having an affair with summer. Is there somebody there that's better than me? Because you seem to go there a lot more. So that's the real reason, is it? Uh, am I having an affair? Yeah, yeah, I go to the gym. I have rampant sex for about five, ten minutes, and then I do all my training, come back all sweaty, and then that's the reason why I'm sweaty. Shut up, you bloody beanhead. I'm not... I don't know what to say when you, you, like, your sort of species of woman, say stuff like that. You're going to have an affair. That's like saying, oh, when you go to the pub, you, you, you're having an affair. You're going out digging, you're having an affair. That's all you say, because you're trying to do a guilt trip. Get over yourself. Calm down, we've been together too long for you to start showing paranoid signs just because I'm going to the gym for an hour and I'll be back for about five o'clock and we can go for some food and then you get what you want. Jesus, you always have to cause an atmosphere and an argument before I go anywhere. Just calm down. Jesus. All right, I'll see you in an hour. Gary's been talking to him. He knows everything. He's in my mind, he's in my mind. Oh, I don't get it. So clever.